your season? First part of the season's going uh, to plan. Really what we do is, uh, since we have so many freshmen, and uh, you know, we, we've, we do have good sophomore leadership, but uh, really we want to break those kids in, get them used to going to class, um, understanding academics, that's your most important thing, because if we don't have them academically, we don't have them wrestling-wise. So that's, that's what we really focus on first semester. And then the wrestling comes in, um, you know, right below that. I think the wrestling, we've done a good job preparing them. They've done well at all the open tournaments that we've gone to. And, uh, you know, I think that they're buying into our system. It's, it's, that's always a struggle that first semester because they're, they're used to having four years with the same high school coach. They develop a great relationship with them. So it's, it's building that relationship building trust and uh, getting them used to college life. Now we've got, we basically have our roster set. We got it set with the guys that we want um, to be with us the rest of the rest of the season. We bring them back January 1st and then, uh, you know, we have a tournament on the 4th. So they have to do some work over Christmas time to make sure they're prepared when they come back. Uh, I told them they got to hit the ground running because uh, it's a short, short season, second semester, it's about eight weeks long. And uh, you know we've got a, an open tournament on the fourth, we've got the national duels, and we've got to prove ourselves there, and we've got a duel with Ellsworth, and we've got our regional duels. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of action packed into a month of January, and then we prepare for the uh, regional tournament and then the national tournament. So we're excited about uh, you know, how, we, how we perform first semester. Our grades look pretty good. We have a few guys that are taking some interim courses or winterim courses um, to prepare, you know, to get themselves uh, ready to be able to compete for second semester. But we, we don't think we don't feel that we've lost anybody um, because of academics or any injuries or anything like that. So we've been lucky there. Um, a couple of our former guys uh, are still competing and doing well. Uh, Jimmy O'Brien is ranked number one for um, uh, Lindsey Wilson, and then. Uh, 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 Wismet Manos is uh, ranked third, <coughs> third I believe, um, at 141 pounds. And then uh, Quentin Haynes, I believe, is ranked one or two uh, for Grandview. And then uh, Isaiah Tatum, he's he's uh, he's out with injury for the rest of the year. Um, and then uh, Brock Katu, who's at Nebraska Kearney, I think, is ranked number two. And then uh, Basil Minto, who's starting for the University of Northern Iowa, is doing a heck of a job, I think.